A firm Holdings Incorporated is a financial technology company that offers, buy now pay later, installment loans to consumers at the point of sale. Its products are intended to provide shoppers with a transparent and convenient alternative to traditional credit cards. A firm was founded in 2012 by Max Levchin, who is also a co-founder of PayPal. A firm's primary product is a point-of-sale lending service. It allows consumers to pay for purchases over a period of time, usually 3, 6, or 12 months. Interest rates vary depending on the customer's creditworthiness and the retailer, and there are no late fees. A firm makes real-time credit decisions using a wide range of data, allowing it to serve a broad range of consumers, including those with less than perfect credit scores. A firm earns revenue through interest on loans and through fees charged to merchant partners. The company has established partnerships with many retailers, allowing consumers to use a firm's services at checkout. This is a fantastic business model. A firm went public on January 13, 2021. The stock is publicly traded on the Nasdaq exchange under the ticker symbol AFRM. A firm's CEO and founder is Max Levchin, a well-known figure in the tech industry due to his role in co-founding PayPal. Max Levchin is a Ukrainian-American entrepreneur, software engineer, and investor, best known for co-founding the company that would become PayPal. As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, here is detailed information about him. Maximilian Raphael Levchin was born on July 11, 1975, in Kiev, Ukraine. Levchin moved to the United States under political asylum at the age of 16. He attended the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he studied computer science. Levchin co-founded Fieldlink, a security company, in 1998 with fellow students from the University of Illinois. Fieldlink soon changed its name to Confinity and began focusing on digital wallets. The company's big breakthrough came when it developed PayPal, a payment system for handheld devices. In 2000, Confinity merged with Elon Musk's online banking company, X.com, and the combined company was renamed PayPal in 2001. Levchin served as the CTO of PayPal, where he was known for his contributions to PayPal's anti-fraud efforts. eBay acquired PayPal in 2002. After the acquisition, Levchin founded Slide, a personal media sharing service for social networking sites such as MySpace and Facebook. Google acquired Slide in 2010, but the service was shut down a year later. Levchin is also one of the co-founders of Yelp, a popular online review site, and was its first board member. He served on the board of directors until 2020. In 2012, Levchin founded a firm and continues to serve as the CEO of a firm. From its inception, a firm has been on a continual path of growth primarily driven by forming strategic alliances with a broad spectrum of retailers. Its mission to provide flexible and transparent payment options has been welcomed by a host of businesses, large and small, across various sectors. In the United States, a firm boasts an impressive portfolio of partner retailers, spanning from everyday essentials to luxury and leisure items. Some of the significant partnerships that the company has established include retail giants such as Walmart and Target. These big-box retailers offer a vast array of products, increasing the range of goods accessible to affirm customers. Another noteworthy partnership is with Expedia, one of the leading travel booking platforms. This alliance enables customers to pay for their travel and accommodation over time, thereby making vacation plans more manageable financially. Similarly, a firm has partnered with Peloton, a high-end fitness company known for its state-of-the-art exercise bikes and digital workout programs. Other notable partners include the online consignment and thrift store RealReal, Real, online travel agency Priceline, luxury sneaker marketplace Goat, and the innovative mattress company Purple. Turning our gaze northward to Canada, a firm's influence has extended beyond the U.S. borders. The fintech firm has formed partnerships with various Canadian retailers, further broadening its international footprint. A major coup for a firm in Canada was securing a partnership with Amazon, the largest e-commerce platform globally. This partnership allows Canadian customers to make significant purchases on Amazon and pay over time using a firm. 
Additionally, a firm has also teamed up with New Egg, a leading tech-focused e-retailer, and Article, an upmarket direct-to-consumer furniture brand. Other collaborations involve Peloton, offering Canadian customers the same fitness financing options as their U.S. counterparts, and Casper, a sleep products company renowned for its comfortable mattresses. The home fitness brand Bowflex, gaming chair specialist Secret Lab, Canadian fashion retailer Browns, modern furniture company EQ3, electric bicycle maker Rad Power Bikes, online furniture store Cozy, and The Source, a consumer electronics and cell phone retailer, also feature in a firm's growing list of Canadian partners. However, the above-mentioned retailers are just a fraction of a firm's extensive partner network. The company's alliances with hundreds of retailers speak to its growing prominence in the point-of-sale financing industry. A closer look at the complete list of a firm's partners would certainly give a clearer understanding of the scale and breadth of its operations. Let's delve into the financial specifics of a firm. The company's current market capitalization stands around $4 billion. Looking at a firm's balance sheet, it carries a debt load exceeding $4 billion, with cash and equivalents amounting to roughly $1.5 billion. You might initially perceive a firm to be overly burdened with debt. In the context of a manufacturing or retail business, this level of debt would indeed be considered excessive. However, the dynamics change when we're discussing a fintech company. For a firm, this level of debt is not only manageable but also advantageous. This is because one person's expenditure is another person's income. When a firm extends loans to customers, these loans convert into assets on the company's balance sheet. Simultaneously, the funds that a firm borrows from banks get recorded as liabilities. If we look at the trend over the past seven quarters, a firm's total assets have shown a consistent rise increasing from $5.4 billion to over $7 billion. Examining a firm's income statements and cash flow reports, the figures may not appear very impressive. However, it's important not to rush to judgment. A firm is a relatively new entrant in the financial market, and growth and profitability often take time in such a complex sector. Now, let's turn our attention to the price performance of a firm as seen in its charts. We'll start with the weekly chart. A firm's stock price reached its highest point in November 2021, when it touched $175. Since that zenith, the stock has been on a continuous decline. The downtrend persisted until it hit rock bottom at just under $10. As of the most recent data point, the stock is trading at around $13 showcasing a slight recovery from its lowest point. Next, let's delve into the daily chart, which provides a more granular perspective. Here, we see that a firm's stock price dipped to a low of $9. Following this low point, the stock staged a recovery and managed to double its value, reaching the peak of the order flow at $19. However, the recovery was not sustained, and the price has since fallen back to around $13. Given these movements, this could be a suitable time to consider buying a firm's stock. The significant reduction in its stock price from the high of $175 could represent a buying opportunity for investors who believe in the company's long-term prospects. However, investment decisions should always be based on comprehensive research and a thorough understanding of one's risk tolerance and investment objectives. <laughs>